Hello and good morning. If it is in fact morning at your place, it is here. Oh, well, <clears throat> it's 10 a.m. So maybe not morning, but you know what I mean. Uh, I'm so glad that you are here. And today I want to do a sketch along. And if you haven't seen the post I made about it, I uh, got a stunning pumpkin from my mom. And uh, I'm afraid I already ate it, but I did post a picture of it. Um, it was so beautiful, so bright and orange. And while I was chopping it for soup, I was really just inspired to paint it. And I thought, who better to do it than with you guys? And then I was like, but you can't really. Can I do a pumpkin without flowers? And you know me, no. So I got started thinking about what flowers to use and I looked out the window and there we had the cosmos uh, kind of just dancing in the wind. I think they're so beautiful. And they have these huge flower heads and they are, I love it. And they're blooming very late, hopefully uh, a little while longer. And I absolutely love them. So of course I needed to use those as well. Before we get started, I'm just going to check out on sound and um, let's see, I have a computer here in front of me, so I am I can see I'm live, yes, and there's sound as well. So I hopefully be, can be able to see the comments while you are writing them, but I'm also going to switch between uh, some references as well so I can see them and I will post the references um afterwards so you can you can see those as well and i think i'm just going to get started i'm going to sketch a pumpkin with cosmos and uh, then i'll talk a little bit about floral october because that starts in a few days sunday <laughs> and i'm so excited uh, and i made this course with um 31 videos that I'm so excited to share with the world and you can join Floral October either in the course or where you get the guided help uh, each and every day or just by following the prompt list and we're going to talk a lot more about that here in the group but for now I'm going to switch the camera so you can uh, see the paper I have here in front of me and see if I can do that oh that's me and let's see, it's always uh, a challenge to kind of get it in the right, right um, angle, but I think it's here and well, a little bit off like that. That works. Okay, so we have, I'm just going to remove my computer because that is taking up a lot of space. And just maybe like that so you're not getting the edge of the table. There we go. And please uh, write in the comments if you are sketching along with me. I would love that. I'm going to start with a pencil because I want to place my main uh, subject, which is, of course, the, the um, pumpkin. So I'm going to I'm gonna start out right away placing it here. I think I'm, I'm going to place it a little bit to the right side. And as uh, always, I never really practice this, um, so just uh, I just kind of go with the flow. Um, now just sketching a rough sketch here of a pumpkin, giving it a bit of a stem here it always has this wooden stem um, and you can see how it's going down in the center here and always also a little bit down here at the bottom going up at the corners and that is our main shape and I'm not going to touch this uh, until we're done with the flowers because I want the flowers to kind of overlap and become um, kind of entangling this pumpkin so I'm actually just going to start sketching and hopefully we will uh, 
it will work out. Sketching from Skåne. Fantastic, Suzanne. Love it. I actually went to Sweden last weekend and uh, we were in, we see all your beautiful red and yellow flags. Um, I, I kind of decided just to be a little bit safe here at first because I want to just to do a few sketches of of um, circles that would be in the cosmos and the reason why I'm doing that is to kind of make sure that the the sizes work so if I started with this and created a flower that was a little bit too big it would be really hard to work with but just by doing a few we can uh, place one up here so we kind of just if we see that as the size of the flowers then we can do one over here that is kind of seen from on the front and then we kind of have the sizes um, to go with and then of course I want to kind of let them flow a little bit down here so we can I think I'm gonna do something on the side maybe one more it's kind of maybe looking down so now we have kind of an idea of where we are going and then we are going to add uh, some other things as well Oh, Maura, you are here in spite of it being in the middle of the night. Oh, you're so sweet. Welcome. We're going to start out with adding just petals and centers to these blooms. And I'm going to keep it, try to keep it a little bit simple. So starting out with my zero one, one And um, we can just start in the middle here. Adding a center. This one is from the side. And then we can have a flower petal here behind. This will be foreshortened so you can't see the entire petal. Tucking it here behind and then we get to the sides where they become bigger. And if you are unsure about foreshortening, I actually made a video about it. Um, I think last week something like that uh, or the week before um, and put on YouTube so you can check that out so here we I'm just going to tuck that one here behind and then I have one that is curling up and maybe one more that has a small bend and we can just have one here so there we have our first bloom. Let's do this one. Again, center, just rough doodles almost. And then we can just add some, I hate when I say just, sorry about that. Then we can add the petals around. I think they might have to be a little bit bigger than my pencils guide here but it's because I was just out in the garden and a second ago and they're really really big the beautiful cosmos so we can get them here in a bigger size but I could instantly see that I did plan them a little bit too small um, but you know what I went out and I got uh, some very nice strawberries. My kids are always very very fast at picking strawberries but I found some they hadn't eaten just yet and that was really really good. So I was feeling very lucky. Now I have this one. We're just going to continue and you can add flowers wherever you you like. I'll do this one here. You can see how we can really just practice a lot of angles at this um, when we are doing this and just seeing how they work together 
And I think that is so wonderful when we are focusing on one flower. So in this case, the, the cosmos, because we can really just explore angles and also uh, growth stages and seeing how we can just show this showcase it from different in from dif different ways so there we have that one and i'm just going to take a quick look at um i think we can do this one from the side and then um, I was just checking out a quick reference to see how it looked. It has these small petals here. Um, and I'm going to make it a little bit open. And then we can give it a few more there. So it, this is, you can see how, imagine how this will kind of flow and be very beautiful. And now we've run out of circles. So I'm going to place, a, I think I'm going to place some lines here behind that is um, not visible, uh, completely visible. But something that would indicate that there is flowers here behind as well. And we can add one. I think maybe one. I would like one that is kind of tucked behind this one. So I'm going to do a circle there. It would maybe be nice to have the pencil sketch, but well, going rogue today feels good. I'm shaking for some reason. That is really weird. Um, maybe I should have gotten a banana or something um, before going in. It is after all at ten o'clock, so it is really my <laughs> my snacking time. Um, I'm just going back to. Facebook here so I can see your comments. You can see how they are kind of overlapping and this really makes it look so much more united. I absolutely love that. Then I would love to have some buds as well so we can add those. They are just round really like that. We can do more of those. And I actually, I kind of want a wilted flower as well. I'm just scrolling through Unsplash to see if I can find that. No, we're gonna, we're gonna make it up. I think I want it here. So just kind of making the petals look um, more fussy and more irregular. Kind of just being a little bit crazy and I absolutely love flowers in this growth stage because they are so so beautiful and they are really just living their life to the fullest and I love that I can let that one be kind of tucked behind so it's kind of just going behind that one and maybe just a flower the petal there. So this one is kind of a little bit crazy. And um, I think we're going to go with this. I kind of like how, how this is going. So um, I'm going to do the stems now, I think. Just going back here. Uh, yes. And we can do the stems. And I um, kind of want the stems to go behind the, um, the pumpkin. Don't ask me why, but that would be the one, the way we're doing it today. Um, like that. And we can give these small buds a 
few petals there as well. This one can be attached here behind as well. And we can give that one room to go here. And don't worry if it's not um, feeling like it's cohesive. It's it's all about the entire sketch and not if some line is blocking the others or whatever. Because it's never about that. Then we have this one. Can go behind here. And can attach to that beauty. And now we have the flowers and um, I actually think I'm just going to add some direction lines and a little bit of texture to this. So we can go in here. And while I do this, I can just share with you that the early bird prize for floral October, if you want the all the video guides and stuff um, is uh, ending tomorrow at midnight. So if you want it, then don't wait too long. Um, and if you're worried about the cost, it, you can pay in two rates. And that will work completely fine as well. And I actually decided to add a bonus. I did. Ha I already had a bonus, but I felt like I wanted to do something more because you guys might have questions and stuff. So I decided to include a live on where we ask, I can answer questions, of course, as a Q&A, but also where I show you how to combine or and create uh, beautiful compositions of flowers. So how to combine and compose a beautiful posy. And I think when we are learning so many flowers, it's wonderful to be able to actually see them um, combined as well. Just adding a bit of texture here in the center of that one. Look how much it, it just pops when they get that direction line. I love that. It's wonderful. I'll continue with these here. Yes, so I'm <laughs> sorry, I was just, uh, yeah, taking it away. I'm very often uh, impressed with what, how little uh, lines can do, um, how little, how much small lines can do. Sorry about that. Uh, how much small lines can do. It's incredible. All we need to do is really just guide the pen in the right direction. And you know what? I absolutely I can't wait to see all your flowers so in the floral October. I really hope you will join. Um, and you can join either by just you can just follow the prompt list. That's completely free. And I hope a lot of people will do that because it's so much fun to see all the wonderful flowers and sketches. It's a highlight of my year to just log in here every day and see all the sketches. It's so wonderful. But you can also, of course, join the course and get access to these all these videos. I've never released this many videos at one time and it was so much fun creating it. So I can't wait to share it with you guys. But if you want to get it at the good price, then make sure to get it before uh, it rises to the, the regular price. I'm gonna wait with um, with this just a second and go into this one here. And please, if you have any questions, and I'm not sure who's watching besides from Suzanne and Maura, um, please uh, ask them. You can ask, of course, questions about the course, but definitely about my sketch as well. You hadn't noticed, I kind of like 
to sketch line and wash and i also really love to to share um all the techniques so definitely ask away and i will try to answer It's going to be exciting to see this with colors, I think. Okay, now I'll do this one. Just adding a bit of texture here. We can re I think we can make this stand out even more when we are adding the colors. But before we are, we are going to We're going to add some lines to the pumpkin as well, because otherwise it would stand a little blind. And I'm going to start out with the zero one for the pumpkin. I'm kind of done with the, oh, maybe not, just a second. We're going to use a few direction lines on this as well to make it look like petals, like that. I'll add some lines to the pumpkin now here like that i'm being careful not to sketch over but kind of leaving the flower on top that is after all why we why we why we waited And uh, you don't have to sketch everything, just a rough sketch is perfect. Just going to add the stem there. And now we can remove some lines. I'm kind of thinking about adding a bit of texture to the pumpkin in fine liner before we go in. It does feel a little bit flat when it's standing there all by itself with just one outline. So I think I'm going to do that. But look how good this is looking already. And I hope you can keep up and be uh, enjoying this as well. I'm just going to see if I can see we have the lines on the pumpkins that are kind of just going that way so I'm going to add a few of those but I'm not going to I, I think I'm gonna keep them open on the center here in the middle This is just kind of showing this shape and um, it is very distinct for the pumpkin. So it can be a good thing to, to well, almost remind people that this is a pumpkin by adding the lines that are characteristic for the pumpkin. And then we can do a bit of shadow just at the top here in um, in these gaps or, or dents more correctly. Like that. Just adding a bit of texture to stem here this is very wood like so a rough texture would work well there and now we can add some color Yay. I have my cloth I have water I have my paint set and my brushes and I actually think I'm gonna start with the flowers 
And then we can finish it off with the pumpkin. And just a, as a prep, I'm going to use for the pumpkin, I'm going to use a new gamboge and a quinacridone sienna to get that bright orange look. So maybe I can use them in both colors in some of the other, some of the blooms to kind of tie it together. First, I want to use the new gamboge in the center of these blooms. And I think I'm gonna, since this is the wilted one, I'm just going to, just a second. Here on the stem, I'm gonna use a Van Dyke Brown. So in this wilted one, I'm gonna use the Van Dyke Brown as well to kind of make the color look a little bit older, <laughs> um, but also tying it together with the stem so we can kind of make that wilted look by adding some brown to this and then we're going to do some color here and i'm just wetting a petal at a time and using a rose quinacridone rose for this And right now I'm doing it wet on wet. I might just uh, change it up, for example, here, just to get a different look. Can't really stick to one, for some reason, can't really stick to one um, technique for long. And you can you can see that in the videos I created for uh, Floral October. There's so many different uh, ways to do it. And I keep changing it up. I like this. So uh, we're going to continue this, but maybe I'm going to consider how to use the Sienna as well. But continuing to this one. And here there's going to be green, of course, as well. And I'm thinking of maybe we could use, maybe these two should be white, actually. That could be kind of cool. Um, or maybe I change my mind in a second. And you know what? If you are doing this sketch, you are actually getting a... Uh, a head start on floral October because this is I think it's day eight or something like that. I'm just adding a little bit of yellow into this petal and um, that is just to tie the colors together and making it look cohesive. It does let look a little bit weird here, but it's okay. And I think I'm thinking about the sienna and I want to add it here in the center, just adding a bit and maybe in this one as well. So we kind of have those warm colors going through in the pumpkin as well as in the in the flowers and then we can add some rose to this but here I kind of want to add that um, brown as well just a tiny bit on the edge so it looks like it's a little bit wilted and uh, proud of it. I'm already uh, getting a little bit excited yet to see all your 
sketches when you get to see this i know uh, it's i think it's four or five who's watching uh, live but that's really not important how many we are right now what's important is that you try it out because when you are watching it and trying it you can see how much we can do with just one flower and i think that is so beautiful and getting all those variations and stuff and i think i am going to keep these white because I really like that and uh, we can do a bit of sap green here on the buds and a little bit here on the hand and now and this one could be white as well so we have the one that's tucked behind and that might be working and maybe not let we'll see so before I go into this orange, I'm just going to take a sip of water. Mm. And look, color coordinated with flowers. Wonderful. Now I'm taking my big brush. This is the Da Vinci 8. And um, we are holding a lot of water here. I'm just going to wet one lane here and then we can just going to find the orange and i'm going to do this wet on wet and kind of seeing how it spreads And here I want to, we're adding quite a lot of water, so I want to make sure that we have enough paint on this. Let's see if it actually needs. I think it does. Taking this, just letting this dry for a second. Oh, sorry, this dry for a second before I take the one, next one. Just so to make sure they are kind of separated a little bit. But you can see I'm very much trying to let the paint do its thing. And I'm going to add a bit of the brown at the top. Also here. Maybe at the bottom as well. Just a tiny bit. Not everywhere. This will flow in nicely uh, in a second. I have one here. Just making sure I have water, enough water for, on it. And this is flowing all the way down here. But that's okay. It's allowed. All I want to do is make sure that it's actually um, not leaving white space around the flower because then it looks a little bit too messy so it's totally cool if it's just doing its thing but at the edge i want it to be a little bit sharp around the flowers i'm going to do this one. Oh, look that touched and no one got killed no one died <laughs> was the a bit of framing of that um wording of that mm, let's see mm. yeah I'm gonna do this one here we can let that flow just make sure you have some white um, paper between the two so they're not flowing everywhere. Well, I'm already really liking how this is going. I'm going to add a bit of rose in a few places of the water just to tie the colors together and um, I think this will work really nicely. Let's do one more. I think I'm just going to let these two 
together together and then we can use the smaller brush to help it around here around the flower and up here I'm gonna use the small brush as well because it is getting a little bit smaller Pumpkins are fun. <laughs> I, I really I like it a lot. I love how we can just sit down and uh, and just get into a flow when we're sketching. This is so much fun. It's really an incredible style for that. Just kind of losing track of time and space and even being live to the world and still kind of losing track so that is wonderful and i hope you're enjoying it too um of course so it's not just me having fun though that is good too Look how much highlight we actually get here um, when we are doing it like this, where we add it at the top and at the bottom. We really get this beautiful light uh, across that is absolutely lovely. And we get that shape uh, again uh, accentuated when we leave the white space between. now we can just we need some color to the stem here and uh, of course that is the brown we've talked about it quite a lot of times so that makes sense and i'm letting the orange kind of flow into that too so we can um, tie it together i think i'm gonna add a bit more dense brown here maybe like that and we are i do feel like we are needing a, there's something missing here below like a ground or something something to ground us a little bit so now i'm going to add a bit of water here and I'm going to be very careful not to touch the okay maybe I did I just touched it, touched it anyway trying to be careful not to touch the pumpkin because we have some very beautiful water down here that will make some stunning blooms but I do want to get a bit of grounding on this so just adding a table or whatever it is and I think I'm gonna make it brown just putting down that so we have the same color as here uh, above and let that it's okay it actually kind of looks like it's um, reflecting on the table so that is completely fine I think I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of pink as well so we have the, the flowers reflecting as well And let's see, just going to get uh, up to stand here just to see if it's can be a little bit hard to see um, if something is off with the composition. I think it works. We can add a little bit of the brown here below as well, so we have a shadow. But I think that is it. I'm gonna keep it like this and then do a quick splatter because that is always fun. I'll use my big brush 
do some sweaters in Conacol and Rose. And I'm going to do some in Sienna as well. Like that. And just a few ones in the clear water as well. So it kind of ties it together. And I'm actually going to splatter a little bit here. So it kind of breaks the edge a little bit just to kind of soften it a little bit because we have if we have a lot of hard lines it can be um, too hard um, so just softening it by doing a few splatters on the edge letting the colors flow will uh, help us to loosen up our sketch a little bit so there we have it a pumpkin an autumn pumpkin with cosmos and i hope you enjoyed it i'm going to switch to the camera view so you can see me so there you go let me hear from you guys did you uh could uh, are you uh, do you have a finished pumpkin in front of you or are you just finishing up or how is it going let me hear and please share it in the, in the group i would absolutely love to see it i'm i'm already really really loving this uh, sketch so i hope you will try it out and and uh, see it so if you're just watching now and haven't sketched on this is the time where you are going to find all your supplies and getting ready to sketch and, and then you know what to do for the next 40 minutes and uh, that is just wonderful and if you want to check out the Floral October course, uh, the 31 videos, I promise they're not as long. They are, I think it's a maximum of 20 minutes each video, so it's easy and you can easily follow them. Then I'm going to put a link below. And the early bird price ends on September 30th at midnight, so don't wait too long. And if you want to build on your skills, and that is... Uh, wonderful as well then check out my my masterclass in ink and wash which is at a 50 percent sales price right now but that also ends on september 30th at midnight so same time two courses and you can choose there's two payment rates for each of the courses and uh, you can pick and choose whatever you like and i'm just going to see here moira oh thank you and sleep tight in vancouver i'm so glad you were here and uh, joined me that's so wonderful and if you have any questions then i am right around uh, the corner so you can just write in here in the comments or send me an email or whatever you feel like have a wonderful day and i'm just going to <laughs> Suzanne, good idea to uh, go and pick a, a Cosmo and then angle it at different... You don't have to pick a lot because you can just angle it at different well angles and uh, that will help quite a lot. So uh, definitely go and pick some Cosmos to look after. Have a wonderful day and I will see you around. Bye!